Hey everyone, today's finance lesson will be on the risk return trade off. The risk return trade off is an important concept in finance and investing and is the basis for many complex theories that we will look at later. So, on today's lesson, we will talk about risk and return individually and collectively, the trade off and how it relates to bonds, and lastly, we will take a look at the economy's role in the risk and return trade off. To actually define the risk return trade off, we must first define risk and return separately. Risk is the probability that an investment's actual return will be different from the expected return. Risk can be low. In other words, the chance that an investor will lose some of his investment. Or risk can be high. In other words, the chance that an investor will lose most or all of his investment. Return is simply the profit on an investment. It can be measured in absolute terms or in percentage terms. Now we can define the risk and return trade-off. The risk and return trade-off is a proportional increase or decrease of return to an increase or decrease of risk. Investors generally look for an investment that will give the highest possible return for the lowest possible risk. More simply, by looking at this graph, we can conclude that high risk equals high potential returns and low risk equals low potential returns. An important thing to remember is that high risk means a higher potential return. It does not guarantee a high return. In general, whenever there is a risk, there is a chance of return and an equal chance of loss. Now let's look at a real world example. Bonds. A corporate bond has a higher risk and a higher potential return than a government bond. Why? And a company may default on its loan or shut down. On the other hand, a government bond is issued by a country's government and a government can raise taxes or print more money to redeem the bond at maturity. In general, a government's chances of defaulting on a loan or shutting down is almost impossible. A more in-depth lesson on bonds will be covered in a later video. Economic conditions also dictate the amount of risk an investor is willing to take on. If the economy is in recession or if unemployment is high, investors will be less inclined to purchase risky securities and will thus expect lower returns during that trading season. For example, during the recession of 2008, Mark Zuckerberg lost $600 million and Bill Gates lost $18 billion. The market crash, the recession, and increasing levels of unemployment resulted in a bear market in which investors targeted low risk and low yield securities. Now to summarize, the risk and return trade-off is a valuable concept that is used in many investing strategies as well as vital corporate finance decisions. In future lessons, we will be referring to the risk return trade-off as it will allow us to look into other concepts more deeply. Now that wraps up the lesson for today. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.